Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining the session today. My name is Jay Vera. I'm a solutions consultant at Lean Data. And today we're going to be talking about the recipe for successful lead management. A little bit about myself. I work at Lean Data, where we help B2B marketing and sales orgs establish lead management frameworks to grow their revenue engines. And I've seen a number of companies walk through this process to achieve amazing results for their marketing and sales functions. With that introduction, let's establish the guidelines. Three part session here today. First, we'll talk about the business cost of poor lead management and some of the telltale signs that you can look for in your organization to understand whether these problems are perpetuating the different functions and folks in your organization today. Second, we'll establish that framework. What is an actionable set of next steps for you to take home to your organizations to see improvements both in marketing and sales in terms of revenue growth? Finally, we'll talk about some customer highlights of Lean Data and the technology stacks they use to actually execute on these lead management frameworks. So hopping right in, what is the business cost? And the business cost is interesting because it first revolves around this telltale tenant of marketing and sales organizations in that data is the lifeblood of a marketer and a seller today. Specifically, data manifests as leads, contacts, accounts, in the marketing automation system and the CRM that ultimately as a marketer, I need to send tailored content to, or as a seller, I need to give quality interactions to, to generate engagement, interest, and business for my company that ultimately becomes what these different functions are measured on in terms of success. Some of the problems that we see in the landscape today are around not establishing a lead management framework. And the impacts of not establishing that framework can be pretty drastic. Whether you're on the marketing side or on the left of the screen, experiencing suboptimal conversions because 25 to 30% of contact data is inaccurate, or actually seeing 25% reduction in revenue on your campaigns, or over on the sales side, you might see some of the problems manifest more along the lines of productivity. If I'm a seller and I'm looking to find quality folks to achieve my quota and be a productive rep, I might uh, face challenges around data by not having the right data to sell to, sifting through the CRM, looking for folks to call up within my designated territory or target market. And ultimately what, that, what that's costing companies is revenue. Sellers are experiencing a suboptimal seller experience and, and calling up folks who might not necessarily wanna buy your products or be high fit. And marketers are selling, or excuse me, marketing in different ways that might not necessarily be, necessarily be effective. So here are some symptoms that you can go back and diagnose on kind of the telltale signs of, of data and lead management bringing you down. Over on the marketing side, it might manifest as inaccurate segmentation of campaigns. And, and a specific example of that that I commonly hear from our customers is, why am I sending a prospect campaign to an existing customer, treating them as if they've never heard of us before? A common telltale sign of the data in place not being accurate enough for you to accurately send out the appropriate content for the appropriate person. And what that's ultimately gonna manifest as is some optimal campaign ROI. Over on the sales side, due to that lack of productivity, folks and reps are missing quotas and not achieving speed to lead as optimally as possible. Their productivity is hampered and ultimately pipeline and revenue will suffer as a result. Compounding all of those problems is the actual people that you're uh, working with at the end of the day are experiencing a suboptimal customer experience. If it's a marketer sending the inappropriate piece of content to the customer or a seller calling up a customer and saying, hey, you should buy our products when they're already done so, all of a sudden your brand image has taken a hit because your marketing and sales teams are not operating with the optimal data at their fingertips. So what is the framework that companies use to actually execute on lead management and make sure that some of the problems we just talked about aren't perpetuating through their B2B functions? Step one is data unification. The CRM tends to be the source of truth of lead contact person and company data at, at the seller and marketing level. So first we need to unify that data and ensure that we have the right data to market and sell to. Second, we'll execute our programs against that data and we'll commonly use marketing automations such as Pardot to do so, to segment the customer base, send appropriate content and generate ultimately prospect engagement that will then route in step three. And it's very important to enact step three in the appropriate way to support your go-to-market complexity, because once a prospect actually engages, you want to be sure that a seller follows up on that hard-earned marketing work 
to deliver a quality interaction as fast as possible to someone who's actually indicated a buying signal. Finally, as always, it's important to analyze and iterate with Dana Insights to make sure your lead management is an ongoing iterative feedback loop and not operating in a silo. So lead management strategy. Let's hop into the specifics of what lead management can actually extend to across revenue organizations. And what we're seeing in the landscape today is that B2B lead management is actually a very key end-to-end -end business process that incorporates all the steps we just talked about and impacts various revenue teams in the organization. Whether it's marketing or sales, everyone can gather around the core tenants of unifying data, executing effective programs against that data, orchestrating and routing that data to the appropriate person in the B2B revenue organization, and then accessing and iterating with insights to make sure that you're constantly improving as a business across the different revenue teams. So how do we actually unify that data in a world where data is imperfect? Some of the marketers in the room might uh, really smile at some of the examples on the screen here because this is a tried and true tenant of how data is collected. Joe Langston, Kristen Budd, Rajesh on the screen here, coming in with variances because of human error and human input on form fills, on trade show registrations or webinar attendees. You might see things like standard versus non-standard email domains, different spellings of the company Hewlett Packard, Rajesh even came in with a personal to make things a little bit more difficult for us. The fact of the matter is data is never going to be perfect when you're collecting it from humans. And we need a way to confidently link these folks together and understand that they're actually part of the same buying group and we can, we need to market and sell to them as such. So that's where fuzzy account, a fuzzy lead to account matching technology comes into play, such as lead data's fuzzy matching algorithm. It's very important to account for the human variations of prospect data by linking these people together to the accounts in the CRM to then market to people and companies in a very high confidence way. We're able to capture with fuzzy matching technology, the human element of understanding that Joe, Kristen and Rajesh all actually belong to Hewlett Packard, that same buying group and should be treated as such when we market and sell with them. Once we do so, you're gonna see drastic improvements in the productivity of both your marketing organizations as well as your sales functions. Speaking of marketing, the next step in that framework is executing. And we do so using systems such as marketing automation and Pardot to actually segment the prospect and customer base separately so that we can now tailor our programs based on the specific information of the person. Calling back to the example from earlier, if I am a customer of your services, I don't necessarily want to be treated as a net new business. It would be a suboptimal experience for me to receive marketing content that says something like, hey, you should check out our products when I've had the relationship with you for multiple years. So it's very important as a marketer to use the unification that we just outlined to segment the database appropriately. And we can do so with that matched account information. So I, as a marketer, know that Hewlett Packard is actually a customer of a long time for my organization. And I will send out tailored marketing programs based on that proprietary information for my company, as well as relevant firmographic data points that tailor to our ICP. So maybe I say something like, I'm gonna send a specific piece of marketing content to accounts in, to people from accounts in this industry, in this specific revenue band, in this specific market segment as a way of generating higher quality prospect engagements. And ultimately, once I generate those prospect engagements, the next step of the framework is delivering those to the Salesforce CRM where companies will commonly have sellers work, track business, and follow up to ultimately achieve revenue. So next step of the process would be routing that data to actually orchestrate the prospect engagements to a seller. But this is where things get tricky. As many of you might experience, go-to-market strategies are ever-changing and growing in complexity. And there's a number of ways marketing and selling organizations go to market that make routing data to the right seller very difficult. You might have to account for an inbound motion that's very transactional and high velocity in nature with lower contract values in the lower market segments. But it's very important to build an infrastructure to do so because inbound leads, as we all know, are gold. We want to make sure that we're responding as fast as possible and our reps are for inbound are as productive as possible to achieve speed to lead and optimize on those hot inbound hand raisers. Companies also will then enact a more tailored strategy for quality content from the marketing and sales side 
using an account-based motion. Let me go out into the unknown universe and define the universe of my specific ICP and select accounts that are most likely to buy from my uh, services. And by segmenting an account-based motion, I'm able to deliver quality interactions throughout the funnel from marketing to sales to CX and iterate on that process. Companies, of course, are not black and white, however. They might enact a hybrid approach between inbound and ABM, layer in territories as well for companies that are covering geographies. And you start to see how this complexity can grow in terms of finding the right person in the organization to follow up with a prospect engagement. In terms of customer expansion, we can't forget about our existing customers as well. We need to foster a structural growth upsell cross-sell motion to ensure that our customers are not being ignored and that we're generating and growing the relationship and growing revenue from that relationship over time as well. Underlying all of these complexities is service level agreements. We want to be achieving speed in accounting for these complexities as well. And that's where technology such as the routing interface from lean data over on the right is really going to help you shine amidst that complexity. Leads come into the system, prospect engagements, hot inbound hand raisers, and you need to find the right seller based on your sales strategy, your go to market strategy to follow up with that prospect engagement. And Lean Data has created a visual interface to do so where you can orchestrate data in a number of intelligent ways. For my inbound leads, maybe I want to ensure that they reach a five minute SLA and that my inbound sellers are following up as soon as possible. So when inbound leads come in, I will use the flow builder graph on the right to check which reps are available at their desk during their working hours, make sure they have capacity with load balancing, route to the right seller, notify them through a mechanism like Slack, and then start the timer for an SLA, ensuring that speed to lead and productivity. Over on the account-based side, maybe I need to make sure the right seller follows up. So when a lead comes in from a strategic account of mine, I have that strategic account rep actually following up and managing the relationship with their years of industry experience instead of having a inbound SDR call up that strategic account and not necessarily have the appropriate context. So these routing flows become very important to support the data that gets sent to the appropriate seller based on your go-to-market strategy. Finally, we can't forget about iterating and expanding and making sure that things are functioning correctly throughout our marketing and sales funnel. So when those prospect engagements occur off the data, we need to monitor them with solutions like lean data engagement and engagement technology to make sure that marketing understands who is engaging with marketing content in terms of people, personas, accounts, and companies, and that sales understands which marketing engagements to follow up with to ensure that marketing and sales alignment. When a webinar attendee from a strategic account comes into play, I want sales to deliver a very quality, warm interaction to that webinar attendee with relevant content based on what was said in that webinar. And that's where engagement can really shine, helping expose the different pockets of space that marketing and sales team might not necessarily be capturing today. Analyzing the efforts of marketing efforts and sales efforts on pipeline and revenue as well to ensure that optimal performance over time. So what are the systems in place to actually enact some of these strategies? As many of you know, marketing automation and Salesforce CRM are some of the common technologies in the landscape today. And we can pair those technologies with a solution like Lean Data to ensure the lead management framework is robust enough to handle our business as we scale, as we go to market in more complex ways. Leveraging the marketing automation system like Pardot to do things like driving marketing activities, develop very tailored content and send out that content to the customer base once I've unified it, sending those customer campaigns to my customers as opposed to prospects, and ultimately generating prospect engagement that I can use to align with sales. That's where Lean Data comes into play within the CRM as a Salesforce native application where you can sync over the hard earned marketing efforts and allow Lean Data to pick up the baton and execute automation on your lead at management framework and account for those different variations of go to market so that you're achieving seller productivity, delivering quality interactions as well, the right response at the right time, improve your segmentation with that matched account information and ultimately adjust over time. Go to market strategies change. You might see things like rolling out an entire channel sales motion over time, pivot on territories yearly or, or quarter over quarter, reps leaving uh, over time as well in terms of turnover, 
go to market changes all the time and you need a system in place that can account for those changes. And that's where Prada and Lean Data together will help you enact that full lead management journey, which mimics the customer journey. Whether it's using Pardot on the left for things like executing campaigns, lead capture, and even visitor tracking on your website, you can be confident that Pardot will help you generate prospect engagement before you hand it off to Lean Data and Salesforce where the sellers actually work. And within that framework that we've established, you can utilize these solutions to match and route records to the right sellers, send them in specific cadences to engage with those particular prospects, notify reps, enforce SLAs, and a number of other key activities to ensure the revenue engine is flowing correctly. So what are some examples of this in, in place today through some actual B2B customers? And first we'll actually start with Zoom. Zoom, as we all know, I'm sure, is a company that experienced massive demand over the recent weeks and months due to COVID-19. And, and Zoom was a key technology that allowed people to stay connected uh, as we went about our separate lives. The technology they used to do so was Pardot, Salesforce, and Lean Data to actually manage a lead management solution that could help the company keep up with that rapid growth and serve their business critical mission of keeping people connected. Prior to Lean Data, Zoom actually had a custom solution in place built through code to enact lead, lead to account matching and routing. And what they experienced was that that solution was number one, not getting data to the right place in terms of sellers in a timely manner. And number two, very difficult to change over time. It wasn't the infrastructure that was going to serve this scale as it constantly broke under load and was delivering inaccurate outcomes in the first place. Zoom got up and running using lean data in March and they had Pardot and Salesforce in place to complete the puzzle of their lead management framework. And they were ultimately able to serve this business critical mission as they experienced explosive growth in lead volume from businesses, schools, and individuals. The three tenants that Zoom highlighted as key value props of enacting a lead management framework for speed, making sure reps were responding as quickly as possible to serve the folks that needed help, agility, making sure that they had the ability to make changes over time, and scalability, of course, being the infrastructure for that explosive lead volume. One of their leads in sales ops was recently quoted as saying, they could not have served this business critical mission of achieving a lead management framework and serving this lead volume without lead data. In terms of a company that is delivering more ABM style approach, Demandbase is a great example of a company who used the same technology stack to triple their SDR pipeline with quality interactions in an ABM approach. Originally, Demandbase was utilizing native solutions to deliver volume-based activities across sales and marketing teams. They were focused on kind of a spray and pray approach with their sales and marketing teams, as opposed to a very tailored ABM methodical approach where you deliver the right content from marketing and follow up with the right content from sales at the appropriate points in the customer journey. Lead data matching and routing really enabled that go-to-market strategy along with Pardot and Salesforce to ensure that demand base knew exactly which people were coming in from the companies that they had defined in their ICP. So ultimately the SDR team was able to focus on targeted interactions and quality interactions and 3X their monthly sales pipeline as they deliver those quality interactions instead of that original spray, spray and pray approach. Lean Data Solutions along with Pardot and Salesforce ensured that structure was in place to allow them to do so. So what is the big takeaways that we can use in our day-to-day -day lives? And number one is that lead management is a crucial framework to orchestrate and market to data with our different functions so that we're producing revenue over time in the most scalable way. And number two, there's a number of systems such as Pardot and Lean Data that will be very crucial in driving lead management for marketing and sales to produce that revenue growth that we mentioned before. If you want to learn more about us, Lean Data offers a number of solutions and capabilities with a number of customer stories that you can learn from, such as matching, routing, and engagement to orchestrate Salesforce data to sellers in a number of different ways. So feel free to reach out to us at leandata.com or check out our resource center or join our bi-weekly live demo for you a deep dive on some of the solutions that are actually going to help you enact some of these lead management strategies. Thank you all for joining today, and that will wrap up the session for now.